Hi everyone. Okay, so I am going to make rice, and I'm going to do my version of Mexican rice. So I'm just going to add two cups of water. Now, for me to do Mexican rice, you call it Spanish rice. Now you can do it a couple ways, but I choose to do it today with picante sauce. You can use tomato sauce and so forth. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to add about a cup of picante sauce. Now you can use your version of however you want to do this. And then what I'm going to take is I'm going to take my one cup of rice because I added two cups of water and then I added the picante sauce. So I will add a little extra, a little over about a cup and a quarter because added for the extra liquid. And get all those goodies out. Because I don't want to lose all that rice. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of chicken bouillon. And I'm going to add about, I have a teaspoon, about a teaspoon left. So, that's all I got left. So, just, okay, that being said, then I'm just going to add a little bit of olive oil, only because I don't want my rice to stick, and I don't want it to be clumpy. Now I'm going to put this on per directions on the back of the rice and I need to let it boil first and this is going to be covered for 20 minutes on a simmering heat to absorb uh, the water and cook. So I got to wait till it boils and then once it boils I'm going to turn it down. It's important you do this because if you don't create the heat, your rice won't cook correctly. We're back everyone and today we are going to be doing uh, chicken tacos and as you can see we're going to be using picante sauce, taco seasoning, and the start of the show is I have two chicken breasts and these are very large chicken breasts and we're going to be doing this in a crock pot. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to add our chicken. And I'm just going to put them in whole like that. And then I'm going to take my directions off the chicken tacos, uh, chicken, or the taco seasoning. And I am going to use the directions and I'm going to put the two thirds water with the packet. And I am going to pour this over my chicken. We're just going to pour it over the chicken like that. And then we're going to take the picante sauce 
because we want to keep the moisture inside with lots of flavor. And I'm using mild picante sauce, and I'm using about a cup. So we're just going to do that, and we're just going to pour it over it. And what we're doing is we, we're, we are creating moisture with flavor. All right, and I'm gonna put this on for a couple hours, and I will see you back shortly. We're back today, we're doing uh, chicken tacos. And um, earlier, I had put my chicken in the crock pot. This was with the taco seasoning, with the directions on the back with a little bit of water, um, and what it called for. And then I put a little picante sauce with it, and um, I just did two full breasts. Now, I will tell you, um, when we do chicken tacos, and we do uh, size breasts like this, this large, um, we do serve about four people. Uh, it's, it, they're really thick. Um, me and my husband, just the two of us, probably could do with one, um, but I'm going to go ahead and pre-prep for later, for another time. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I um, usually use a blender or I'll fork it to get it shredded. And so that's what I'm going to do now. Now the juice I put to the side so that way I can keep it moist in a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of liquid that I had from cooking it just to give it a little bit of moisture back into it. And then I'm going to add some more liquid back into it to put back the flavors. And those are the juices that we were using in the crock pot that we were cooking with. And it's however fine you want it to be. Or how chunky. And you can fork it, pull it apart like that as well. Just whatever your preference is. Okay, now we have that done. I'm gonna put this to the side. Now I have done um, some rice earlier. And we made Spanish rice. And um, I used two cups of water, one cup of rice. I used about a couple teaspoons of chicken bouillon, and then I put about a cup of picante sauce in it. It's got a really nice color to it. And then I never tried to spoon it coming out, and I cooked it 20 minutes according to the directions of the rice. Oh, it smells delicious. And then when I want my rice to kind of not be, you know, sticky or anything, I always add just a little bit more than it calls for, just so that I can have a little firmness. And then I fork it just to have it fluffy. I never use a spoon at first, only because it will um, smush it. And I want it to cool, and I want it to firm up a little bit. 
And I put a little bit of olive oil in this just so that I could get a nice texture and it wouldn't be so sticky. Not salsa. Oh, I can get it straight. Avocado dip. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to rinse this first, of course. They've been talking about making sure you rinse all your vegetables off before you cut them. Alright. So I'm going to cut this. And I make sure my avocado is nice and soft when I do this. I don't want it too mushy if I have to squeeze it in. Um, by just barely touching it, just tells me it's going to be too, too soft. This is perfect. This was just firm enough where I was squeezing it. Just that's all you have to do to it. And pop it out. Now I like to just score mine. And then I'm going to take my spoon and I'm going to gently just scoop it out. That's all it takes. You don't want to score it and you want to just scoop it. You can do that too. And it just pops right out. I'm gonna do two because I like avocado dip. And just just soft enough where it's not hard it's not it's not mushy perfect give it a little nudge this is even gonna fall out that's it I score mine because it's easier to uh, mash up inside the bowl My mother showed me how to do this when I was younger. Now if you find that you get an avocado and it's stringy, it's old. If you get a few black dots and they look like they're bruised, they're not bad, you can remove them easily. It's not a big deal. Avocado is just like any other fruit or vegetable. It gets handled too much or moved around, it bruises. And then this one's the same way. Oh, there's the top. If it's too hard to cut, means it's too green. And I have tried doing the microwave thing and it doesn't work. I mean, it's not, I'm not a fan of it. You're welcome to do it, but. I'm not. I don't. I don't care for it. All right. Now all I'm going to do to make my avocado dip, it's really simple. To give it a little bit of moisture, a little bit of seasoning. That's all I add. I just add a couple of dollops, a little here, a little there, of ranch. Already pre-made, regular, regular, regular ranch. That's it. And it's not a lot. And then I just begin to mash it. And I have my avocado dip. Actually. 
my guacamole. That's it, it's that easy. And you can add just a dash of salt for just a, just a taste of measure. And you're good to go. So it doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. No, avocado's not. It's usually got a little couple clumps. And you have avocado. Okay, that being said, We have our taco or our chicken taco. We have our guacamole. We have our Spanish rice. And we have a little bit of onions, right chopped. A little bit of lettuce. A little sour cream. Everybody has to have their favorite. Still put some picante sauce on the side. Famous old cheese. We gotta have a little cheese. Somebody's gotta have cheese. I put a few bell peppers to the side. Somebody's gonna want them. Our tacos are toasted. And we have our famous tortillas. And what we do is, I like to add the extra. We'll take some of this taco or tortilla. Gotta do it right. A little bit of this. Always good, girls. Tell ya. Oh yeah, you guys. You have no idea. This is one of my favorite dishes. Like that. Put your taco in like this. Oh yeah. Gotta do it right. Now get a little chicken. Put it in the taco. Oh yeah. Get a little cheese. Do it however you want. A little bit of lettuce. Oh, you can't hold back. A few onions. I ate my pico, so we don't have no pico. I have a little salsa. good. So you're making a mess. Oh yeah. Y'all see that? Pretty. And that's a bit of rice. Oh. Delicious.
didn't forget anything? I think I got everything but the kitchen sink. All right, y'all. I think we're good. It's time to go eat. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. Really simple. Oh, yeah. Lots of fun. Good glass of tea. Movie. Friday night. Bye, y'all.